Hallelujah. God is good and is good all the time. Amen. Well, today I want to speak on patience. You know, we all find it difficult to have patience in the situation where we are waiting on God to fulfill his promises in our life. You know, patience is the greatest virtue. It is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit and it's only developed during trials. Now, if you read in Hebrews chapter 6 verses 12, it says that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. You know, the Bible tells us that we inherit or we receive the promises of God through faith and patience. You know, if you look at this verse very carefully, it doesn't say that we will receive the promises of God just because we have faith. You need to have also patience. You know, many a times we just focus on faith. But we forget the important aspect for us to receive from God. The promises of God is also patience. Now, we need faith because that is what calls into being the promises of God. But patience is that that will keep you going even when you have not seen the promises yet fulfilled in our life. Now, patience is not just the ability to wait, I believe, but it is how you behave while you wait. What is the attitude that you wait, you know, when you are waiting upon God? Are you grumbling? Are you complaining? Are you giving up? Are you questioning God? When God, when? You know, in our walk with God is a walk of faith where we trust God that he will do what we cannot do. But that also requires patience because in our life, the situations can, will not always be the same. During difficult moment is when that we need patience. We need to trust God. We need to be patient with ourselves. We need to be patient with the process that God is using for our good at that moment. So we need patience. And you know, when we go through a difficult time, we tend to question when God when. But you know one thing about God, He tells us the promises. But he never tells us when that will happen. He never gives us the duty. He never gives us the appointed time because that is for his wisdom. But the appointed time, the due time is when God thinks we are ready. And I, I believe what we need to do is we need to have faith and we need to have patience. Because if you look in the same chapter, in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 15, it speaks about Abraham. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. You know, patience is what kept Abraham to endure and to go. You know, he was promised by God that he will have a child. And year after year, when he would look to Sarah, she never conceived. You know, it was quite disappointing, but Abraham was patient. He had faith and he was patient and he pursued and he endured till he received what God told in his life. You know, we all have promises of God over our life, which God has spoken over our life and we are believing. And during a difficult situation, we feel like giving up. We feel it is easier to give up than to endure. But we need to remember that our God is a faithful God. And what he says, he will do it. But in the meantime, we need to have faith and patience. And when you continue, you will see the promises of God fulfilled in your life. Amen. God bless you.